Hi everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at flexibility. All you're going to need is your PE socks. If you've got a resistance band, then brilliant, you can use that instead. And just a bit of carpeted area, somewhere where you've got enough room to work around. So I'll give you two minutes to go and get that sorted. So the first thing we're going to do is get warmed up. It's really important that we do this before we start with any of the stretches. Okay, so you're just going to follow what I'm doing. So get your feet planted. Okay, we're just going to work on our upper body to start with. So all I'm going to do is just five rotations at the shoulder, pushing my arms back. Okay. And last one. Awesome. Now the opposite, we're going to go forwards for five. Okay, so our shoulders should be nice and loose now. Okay, the next part of our warm-up is going to be lunges. All right, so we're going to do five on each side. All right, whichever side. So I'm going to start with my left leg out, okay? Hands on hips, and I'm just going to drop and come back up. Two more. Last one. Super, we don't want our knee to go too far over our toe. Okay, and then swap sides. Keeping your back nice and straight. Wonderful. Right, next one is some squats, okay? So feet, shoulder width apart, okay? We don't want to bend over too much, so keep a straight back again. We're just going to sink into those. I'm going to do 10 of these, okay? So I've done three, four, keep going. And last one. Okay, last couple of minutes of our warm up then. This time we're going to do some jumping jacks, okay? So we're really going to get our heart rate going now. So we're going to do 10, all right? Moving on to some cross body toe touches, okay? Now this is really gonna start testing your flexibility. So what's gonna happen is one of my arms is gonna go up into the air, the other one is gonna to touch my opposite foot, okay? So there, I'm gonna do 10. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And come up, okay? And lastly, some hamstring stretches while we're at it. So I'm going to swing my left leg forward and touch it with my opposite hand, okay? If you can, just see how far you can go. And then I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do 10. And stop there. So the aim of today's lesson is for us all to hopefully improve our sit and reach score. Now, if you think back to the fitness testing lesson, it was the very last test that Miss Armstrong did with you, okay? Now, I'm going to post that video again, refresh your memory on how to do it. Hopefully, you've got your scores somewhere. If not, then you've got a few minutes now to perform the test again. And at the end of the lesson, we're going to repeat it and hopefully everyone will have improved. Okay, so your last and final test of today is going to be a test that works and looks at your flexibility, particularly in the lower body. Um, flexibility is basically the range of movement that you have at a joint. So how much, how flexible you are is the range of movement that you have. So we're going to have a look at the range of movement um, at our hips and looking at kind of like the lower body. So almost like how flexible your hamstrings are and things like that as well today. So that's we to do that we do something called the sit and reach test okay this is the only test really we need a little bit more equipment that we have done for the others all right so you will need da -da -da -da, a ruler so hopefully you've all got one of those to hand all right you should have one in your pencil cases from school so you will need a ruler 
and you will need um i mean i'm going to use a bench because i'm in a sports hall i'm lucky enough to have have this to hand here you obviously won't have a bench at home and um, but you're going to need something like um a step but somewhere where you can put your feet flat against it so the bottom step of your stairs is absolutely perfect for this um if you live in a bungalow, you're probably going to have to improvise a little bit, um, but more often than not, you will be able to find something, a box of some sort that you can push your feet flat against. OK, so I'm going to use the bench. You need to um, on your ruler, you need to find 15 centimetres on your ruler. So you've got a 15 centimetre overhang off the bench. OK. Um, if you've got someone with you to, to help with this, this is a little bit easier because they can hold the, the ruler for you um, and they can also do the measuring. But if you're on your own, I'm the only one in today. So if, if you know if, if you're on your own and you have to um, improvise, I'm sure you'll find a way. All right. So I'm going to have a bash of doing it on my own now. You need to be um, take shoes off for this. You need to be in your socks. So no shoes. Put them to one side. I'm going to sit a little bit further back so you can see what I'm doing. You need to have your feet flat against the step or the bench or the box or whatever it is that you're going to be using okay i'm going to find my 15 centimeter overhang now i've tried this already i'm going to need something to balance it on a little bit so i'm going to use my phone this is my improvisation coming in so 15 centimeter overhang on the bench and i'm just going to use my phone there just to keep that in place perfect okay i'm going to put my feet flat against the bench i'm going to keep my knees as straight as i can OK, so without bending my knees and then I'm going to put my hands forward and lean as far forward as I can without bending my knees. And the measurement you're taking is at the end of your fingertips where you can get to on that ruler. I definitely recommend doing um, a little bit of light stretching first. Get yourself warmed up. Don't go straight into this because the more stretching you do, the more flexible you make your muscles. The more flexible your muscles are the higher grade you're going to get on this. And it also means that you're probably less likely to pull something. So don't go straight into this without doing a couple of stretches first. We did the stretches in the warm up. You can go back and do a couple of those if you want to just before you, you do this. So you don't pull your hamstrings. OK, you're about to see how little flexibility I have because I'm going to demonstrate this now. This is this is definitely my weakest point in terms of fitness testing. And um, I've got no flexibility in my hamstrings whatsoever. So for some of you, this might be one of your best, particularly if you're a gymnast or a dancer and um, somebody who works on that flexibility. This might be one of your best results. OK, definitely not going to be one of mine. So you're going to sit with your feet flat against the bench, legs straight, arms out. And all you're going to do without bouncing, so a nice controlled movement, you're going to lean into that stretch. Now, from what I can see here, I got 17. So I just about went past my toes. For the next part of the lesson, we're going to focus on stretching. Now there's two types of stretching. We have dynamic, which is on the move, and static, which is done stood still, and it's a nice controlled movement to stretch those muscles. Now that's what we're going to do. So you need to go and find your space, grab your socks, and we'll get started. So although the sit and reach test is predominantly for our lower body flexibility, we still use our arms and shoulders. So we're going to do a quick warm up for them before we get started. OK, so get your feet planted and just with your left arm, you're going to bring it across your body. You're not going to hold the joint. Now, going back to static stretching, we're going to hold it for about eight to ten seconds. OK, and then we're going to switch. All right. So just count this in your head. Okay, now for this one, we're going to stretch our triceps. So we're going to put our left arm behind our head and with our right, we're just going to gently pull that muscle, okay? Just so we feel a slight stretch. Same again, just up to 10 seconds. Shake it off and then switch round. Well done. OK, so like I've said, the aim of this lesson is for us to improve our lower body flexibility, which we measure using the sit and reach test. So we're going to move on to our hips now. OK. 
So you're going to set your feet just shoulder width apart. By this point, you might decide you want to kick your shoes off. I'm going to assume that most of you are probably barefoot or in socks anyway, and that's absolutely fine, all right? So I'm going to stand up nice and straight, and what I'm going to do on one side and then following with the other, I'm just going to try and touch my knee. Now, obviously, some people are going to be more flexible. You'll be able to go further down your leg. Some people, maybe not so much, all right? So we're just going to do this a few times just to really engage our core, okay? Now, imagine that you're stuck in the middle of two pieces of glass, all right? And what I mean by that is instead of moving backwards and forwards, we're going to stay in that line. Okay? From this point, we're going to focus on static stretching. Now, just to recap, static stretching is where we stretch the muscle group and we hold it for 8 to 10 seconds. Okay? Our first stretch, we're going to just get our feet shoulder width apart and we're going to drop our hands to the floor until we feel a nice stretch in our hamstring. Now I don't want you to push too far and risk injuring yourself. This first one is just to test the water, see how far your hands can go. You might be able to touch the floor, you might not. We'll just see how we get on, okay? So let's hold this once you're in position just for 10 seconds. If it gets uncomfortable, then you might need to come up slightly. Don't forget to breathe. And back up. Okay, I'd like you to repeat that two more times. Off you go. Okay, so moving on to our next stretch, you're gonna need your socks or the resistance band, whichever you have to hand, okay? Now you don't need both socks, you only need one, so we'll get rid of that one, okay? Now, this is gonna require you to lie down on the floor, all right? So make sure you're not lying on hard floor, find somewhere comfortable to do it, okay? And what we're gonna do is, hopefully you can see, we're just gonna put our sock, if you can see there, just underneath the ball of our foot, and with a straight leg, as straight as you can, okay, we're just going to try and pull our foot closer towards our upper body. Now, some people might be able to pull their leg right up towards the head. You might only be able, with a slight bend in your knee, to get to around there, okay? But I'd like you to give it your best shot, okay? This is also for your hamstring, so you'll feel that stretch into your hamstring down into your glutes, okay? So we've held that for 10 seconds, we'll let that leg have a rest, and then switch to the opposite. Now you might find that one of your legs is more flexible than the other, okay? And that's totally normal, all right? So 10 seconds on this side again. And when you've done, I'd like you to repeat that two more times on each side. Off you go. So for our next stretch, we're going to stay down on the floor. We're going to focus on our back this time. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring yourself down so that you're lying flat on your belly. Okay. Now with your hands just underneath your shoulder, you're going to push your upper body up, keeping your legs straight and your feet on the floor. Okay. So just like so. So 10 seconds again, I'm going to do this three times as well, I'll show you the next one from the side, okay, so we should be able to feel that stretch, now we'll go back, okay, so I'm going to do it again, alright, so remember feet on the floor, don't lift them up, you're just going to push your upper body up as far as you can, I know some people will be really flexible, be able to put their head right back. That's it, and hold it. Don't forget to breathe. 
and down. Yeah, may as well do the last one with you. Let's see if we can push a bit further up this time. So if you've done yoga or Pilates, you might recognise this pose. It's also a very good stretch for your lower back. And stop there. And relax. Well done. So we're on to our last couple of stretches now before we retest ourselves. For this one, you might want to make sure you're barefoot or got your socks on. It just means that you're more balanced when you come to perform the stretch, okay? What I'm going to ask you to do is bring one leg up and hold it just in front of your knee with both hands and pull it as far to your chest as possible, okay? Now if you start wobbling, just put your foot down, regain your stance and start again. Once we've done 10 seconds, we'll do the other leg. This time I'll show you it from this side so you can see what it should look like, hopefully. Try and pull it as far to your chest as possible. This is testing your balance as well. Just for 10 seconds and then relax. Okay, do that two more times on both sides. Excuse the change of scenery, we're going to move on to our next stretch, okay? So what I'd like you to do is stick one foot out in front of you, okay? And with the other one, you're going to put the sole of your foot flat against your inside of your other leg, okay? So like so, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch over, I'm going to try and touch my toes, um, work your way down your legs, see how far you can get, okay, if you get up to your ankle, great, mid shin, that's absolutely fine, just however far you can manage, and we're going to hold that for 10 seconds, okay? Okay, and then slowly come back up, all right? Now we're going to do it on our other side, we're going to repeat this three times, okay, so I'll do this one with you, okay, so exactly the same, so as far up your leg as you can, if you can only get it to your knee, that's absolutely fine, okay, and just slowly making sure you're breathing, we're going to go down our leg, see how far we can get, Some people's heads will be able to touch the leg, show offs, and then come back up. Okay, I'd like to do that two more times on each side for me. Off you go. So for our last stretch, we're going to combine two stretches into one. All right, um, it'll make sense once we get going. So you're going to start on your knees, okay, in this position so hands flat on the floor hopefully a nice flat back okay the first stretch that we're going to hold you're going to keep your feet on the floor is we're going to push our stomach down all right and lift our head up okay some people will be able to push their stomach really far down okay and then going from there, what we're going to do now is we're going to arch our back, so we're going to do the opposite, okay? So going up as high as you can, and we're going to hold that for 10 seconds as well. And back to neutral, we're going to repeat that two more times, off you go. Now that we've finished our stretches, what I'd like you to do is go and re-attempt the sit and reach test, okay? I'll be really intrigued to see how many people have improved just from doing that little bit of extra stretching before they do the test. If you have any stretches you'd like to do quickly before you go and do that, then you're more than welcome to, all right? 
Don't forget to fill the form in once you've done your test and good luck.